Here's a little song I wrote. You might want to take it note for note. Don't worry. It's breakfast with Bob. Championship edition, Breakfast with Bob from beautiful Four Seasons. Whoa, thank you guys so much. We are sponsored by EAS Myoplex Polar Hoka One One Velo Fix Norma Tech. Again, Four Seasons Hawaii. It's spectacular. Look at the view behind us. Emio Power Breather. Third place yesterday, Sarah Crowley after 15th last year. How about a round of applause for Sarah Crowley? There we go. Congrats. Thanks, Bob. So, first of all, I noticed a little road rash. What the heck? Yeah. Um, I've got a new appreciation for the winds in Hawaii. Uh, I took a drink and uh, at the same time was... Um, took a dive? Took a dive, yeah. <laughs> Drinking a dive. Drinking I like it. Drinking a dive, yeah. Wow. Where was that? Uh, just before Kauai Hai, I, um, the, I took the last bottle in the aid station and um, it passed through a cutout. And as I took the bottle, I had one hand while I was drinking. And oh, no. Yeah, well, the wind comes, comes through those cutouts. Comes through and it, yes. was, it was a freak wind and I was down really quick. Wow. Yeah. And your bike was okay? Thankfully. Yes. I had a split session, a second to make a decision and I just got up. No problem. No problem. Wow. And you, well, while you're riding, I'm sure in your mind oh, you're going, you're sort of going through the dashboard. Okay. <laughs> Elbow, knee, what's going on? Yeah. It was but, uh, unique. <laughs> so this was one of those days where you had a battle, right? You and Heather Jackson, what, together on the bike for a while and then, or was that uh, mainly on the run? Um, at the end of the bike, uh, Danny unleashed and <laughs> I got dropped pretty significantly. So, But Danny was with you guys for a while. Yeah, it was me, Danny and Annabelle Luxford for That's a while. That's pretty fun then, being with the two-time champion. You know, yeah, you're in the right it's, place. It's different for me because I had a good swim. So I was uh, yeah, in a different position to what I'd normally be. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, so by the time we got to the end of the bike, I came in with Heather and um, yeah, she went out. A little bit ahead of me, I was sort of still kind of assessing whether I had any trouble after the fall. You're right. And then I was, um, yeah, just eating a bit and getting used to the run. And then I passed Heather back just before we went into the energy lab. And then we ran together in the energy lab. And then I, at, at the top of the energy lab, I'd sort of been practicing that section back in home uh, during the week. And yes. Just, uh, yeah, up the pace a little bit. and um, But then when I went through Hot Corner, I heard uh, Pete Murray mention that her name and I was like, oh, gosh, this isn't over yet. And <laughs> <laughs> the last kilometre, I was, still had to push through to So to she was sure coming on you? Yeah, yeah. Wow. And those are fun, right? They, oh, yeah. It's scary but fun, yeah. <laughs> so there was a point when you, when you got into the triathlon where you moved away to basically race bikes and run. To, to focus on the individual sports with the intent of coming back and doing a long course. But when, when did you feel and why did you feel that, you know what, I need to get better at these specific sports? Well, I think, you know, having an, a short course background, I just didn't really um, understand, say, maybe cycling as much as I could have. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to see if I'd like it. I, I got um, – Deloitte actually had a cycling team in the road right. series Right. I mean, Australia. you were doing criteriums and all that type yeah, of stuff. Yeah, yeah. And it, I just – it was a new experience. And I thought, well, if anything, if I do go back and do long course, it's going to be only helpful. So, right. Um, but then I realised that I do really enjoy running and swimming. So, I, I couldn't just give those up and um, went back to doing – Right. Yeah, did my first – Half in 2012, I think. Yeah. And before this, what would you would you have looked at as a, a high point in terms of the, your most important win, um, or import, most important race for you in terms yeah, of giving look, you confidence? I'd a, yeah, I'd had a, uh, as in before this race in particular. Yeah. Uh, like I'd had some earlier results, probably uh, placed at the Noosa Triathlon, and yeah, uh, I'd won a, a continental uh, cup, uh, Oceania Championship in yep. Australia, and then um, yeah, I'd. I mean, obviously, this year has been um, quite remarkable with Frankfurt yes. and, and the Asia Pacific Champs. So, yeah, there's a few th a few highlights in there. Frankfurt. Yeah, that was pretty amazing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And in that race, it was you know you were catching Lucy Charles at the end of that race, and she had such a great race here. You probably had a sense that she was going to have a, a great one here as well. Yeah, I, I expected something quite similar to what actually happened, but Lucy, to her credit, uh, ran very very well yes um, and so yeah i think uh she just had a gap that i i couldn't i couldn't right. get back I, I think i got it back to two minutes but um yeah she she did very well so when uh when you look at this race and you're 15th and now you're you know on the podium 
did you surprise yourself a little bit by being on the podium this year? Or did you feel you were ready for that? I definitely surprised myself with my swim when I got out and I was there. And I think once I was there in the in what a difference that it, makes, right? Oh, it was it's rather than riding by yourself, you're actually racing from the beginning. Exactly, and I think once once I was there, I was sort of okay. Well, I just get to work, but um, yeah, I guess had I not been in that group, I would have maybe reassessed where I was at right. in, in the race. Yeah. So when you're coming down Elite Drive and you realize you're going to be on the podium, uh, what were you thinking? Oh, this hurts so much. <laughs> oh, I guess it has to hurt if you want to get on the podium at the Hawaii Ironman. Uh, right? <laughs> is this yeah. what it actually feels like? It really does hurt. <laughs> it, it, it hurts a lot. It hurts a but lot. But uh, equally, there's a, quite a bit of elation and, yeah, it's thrilling. Yeah. So now, uh, and I'm, I'm sure your phone's been blowing up. I'm sure there's more media opportunities and, and things like that. What, what will you, will you be heading right back to Australia and doing some, some media things? Um, I haven't really settled yet. I, th I think I'll need a just couple of days just to just sort to of figure out what's going on. Yeah, there's quite a lot of uh, oh, cool noise, I guess, going yes. on. So, um, but yeah, heading back for the Noosa Triathlon, which will be just a bit of fun. Um, it's the start of the Australian season, so yes. Um, I think the last K I put in was a bit of training for that race. <laughs> So uh, Daniela decided at one point that she's just going to go and make up some ground on Lucy. W when did that happen? And it, was it just like all of a sudden, oh, she's gone? Um, yeah, I actually, I probably made a little bit of a tactical error. I, I didn't, um, I went through, we went through an aid station and I was sort of um, mucking around with some food and right. things. And then all of a sudden, Daniela was sort of maybe 100 metres up the road, and she'd gone. And that was the last aid station before town. So she managed – it was really unbelievable. She put three or four minutes into me within 20 kilometres of the finish <laughs> and, and <laughs> caught Lucy. So, yeah. It was I almost like, okay, I, I sort of like leading this, so I think I better go Yeah, it's now. now or never, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, at that moment I was, ooh, <laughs> That's something very but special it, to watch. <laughs> yeah, we also know that when you do something like that and you burn those matches, sometimes you can pay for it. I mean, I think that uh, what we saw on the guy side with, you know, with Cam Wirth and um, with Sebi and with Lionel, I think they put pressure on Jan, and I think that you know that came back to, to be positive for them. So, what do you learn about yourself when you one you had the swim like you had? Um, and you're, you're right there. You're with, the, at that point, the two-time defending champion on the bike. And what do you learn from yourself from, from this type of performance? Well, I, I learned that, I mean, I can go, there's definitely still places that we can improve in, in you know, it's not, we're not at the limit, which is right. really good to know, um, to walk away with, you know, uh, pro progress from yes. where we've been working on. Um, also, you just have to be so vigilant, um, because it can be just a split second. That's right. And, and everything changes. Yeah. yeah. Someone makes a move and you're in the wrong place. You're at you the aid station. You get hit by a wind, yeah, wind <laughs> gust. You're on the ground. When yeah. you're on the ground, it's hard to, make up, up, hard to make up ground when you're laying on the ground. Yeah. So, you know, and that's the same for the run as well. You know, things can change very quickly. So, um, yeah, I probably, you know, some races it's a long, it's a long game. But, yeah. you know, I mean, obviously it's an Ironman. It is a long game. But you do, do, do need to be very vigilant of the small things that can happen that really do have an impact on the result. So Cam Watt has been coaching you. Mm -hmm. And what has he brought to the, ta brought to the table for you? Um, I think Cam's got some really good skills in that he's a fantastic communicator. Um, obviously, he's got a background with Brett Sutton and his um, methodologies, which is fantastic, but also, also very good. Uh, you know, he observes very right. well and keeps us on track with, you know, changes that we made so we don't, you know, sort of make, continue to make mistakes. We kind of change them really quickly. And um, I think that day to day training yes. environments had the biggest impact. Love that. Mm. About a round of applause for Sarah Crowley <laughs> on the podium. Poncho Man, take us out. It's breakfast with Bob.